Before I was an insurance agent, I was an adjuster for several years, and on a daily basis, we were hearing about a threat on today's highways. And it's a threat that is so common that most of us aren't even thinking about it. But it's a threat that our friend, businessman Barry, is going to think about today. Businessman Barry had always been a good driver, careful and watchful. But on this day, he was expecting an important message about a deal he'd been working on for a long time. When the news came, he was on the highway, but a quick glance wouldn't hurt, right? It wasn't like he didn't know what was happening around him. Unfortunately, the quick part of that quick glance is a relative term, especially when things change so rapidly on the road. And when Barry looked up, things were quite a bit different than when he had looked down at his phone. My name is Paul Lytle. I'm with the Paul Lytle Insurance Agency in downtown Falsher. You know, I can't tell you how many times um, in, in talking to people who are involved in accidents, I heard this being brought up. And it was either I was texting or the other person was texting or whatever it was. And even though consistently the number of accidents caused by texting is, is skyrocketing, Every day on the road, I'm passing people and I'm, and I'm seeing them do this, this very thing. I just saw a statistic that I'll link to in the description that the average time spent looking at a text with your eyes off the road is five seconds. And I want to demonstrate that for you because I want you to, to, to see how long it is. And so if I got a text today, right now, this is how this would go. That's it. And in that time, if I, and I'm, and I'm parked here. And so everything, everything is fine. But in that time, if I were driving 55 miles per hour, I would have gone an entire football field with my eyes off the road. And that is what makes, that is what makes texting a particularly bad distraction. We, we have constant distractions on the road. And, and some of them we handle better than others. Uh, and they're all dangerous, but texting is the one that takes your eyes off the road and onto something else. You know, I can, I can, uh, I can take a bite of a burger and keep my eyes on the road. It's still a distraction. It's still dangerous, but my eyes are still on the road. I can talk to somebody in the passenger seat. I can even uh, talk on speakerphone and keep my eyes on the road. It's still a distraction. It's still, it's still something you want to be very careful with. But with texting, the problem is, is that you, you're in this machine going 55 miles per hour, 30 miles per hour even. Cut, you know, cut a, a, a massive body of metal going very quickly down the road on a road that is constantly changing with people moving in and out of traffic and you're taking your eyes off the road. And that, that is why texting has, uh, has to my mind been, uh, become the, the, the worst of the distractions that we're facing every single day. And, and I, and I tell you what, you know, I, I, I always, I always advise, as, an, as, a, as a former adjuster, as a current agent, I always advise caution on the road. These, these machines that we're driving can cause damage, harm, and even death in a moment's notice. And I always cause caution, uh, uh, counsel caution on the road. Um, and so I would, even, I, I, would even, I would even say to be cautious when you're having a conversation on the road. I would even say to be cautious, you know, when you're flipping the radio station. I, I would even say to be cautious when having something to eat as you're driving. But there is no, there's no level of caution that is, that is safe enough that's going to let you look at a text while you're on the road with your car in motion. There's just not. You can't 
you can't look down and back up quickly enough to make this, this thing worthwhile. Some of you have safety devices on your phones. Uh, this particular one has a cool feature that, um, that senses when your car is in motion and it goes to a completely voice activated, uh, uh, mode that will actually read your text to you and you can dictate a response if you so choose. Um, if you have that, fantastic. If you don't though, it can wait. And if it can't wait, then pull over. Just pull over. It's, it's not, it, it is not worth the damage that can be caused uh, to text on the road. I appreciate your time today. Again, my name is Paul Lynham with the Paul Lytle Insurance Agency. We're right down downtown Fulcher, right across from the post office. Uh, give us a call anytime. If you have any questions for me, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Please like us on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube for upcoming episodes. Bang was brought to you by the Paul Lytle Insurance Agency. Saving, security, and service all right around the corner. Call us for a quote at 832-266-0153 or stop by anytime.